Hey Warrior Princesses, welcome back to my channel. This is a look inspired by Liliana, The Last Hope, the Planeswalker card from Eldritch Moon that just recently launched. It's a Magic the Gathering set. And I love Liliana. She's so dark and sultry and fierce. And I wanted to do a look inspired by her because she's a major player in the lore of this set. I based this look off of the art from the Oath of Liliana because I could see her face a bit better and I knew immediately what I wanted to do when I saw that art. So if you want to see how I got this look, just continue watching. Hey guys, I did do my foundation and my eyebrows off camera just to keep this video a little bit shorter. Um, but I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay primer and primer eyelids. As you see here, and then I'm going to take my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm just going to set that so that my uh, eyeshadows go on smoothly. And this is a trick that I'm going to be doing today. It's taking a little bit of tape, but in order to not pull on your skin, you want to take off some of that tackiness. So I just take it and put it on my hand to at least twice. And then you want to put it in the corner from the edge of your eye up until your eyebrow, as you see there. So I look a little crazy. I'm going to look a little crazy for a little bit, but it really helps to get those nice sharp edges. Alright, and I'm sorry about the in and out. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. Okay, so I'm taking this BH Cosmetics Fluffy Brush and this neutral pinky toned shade, and I'm just buffing that into my upper eye area, that brow area. And then I'm taking this neutral gray tone and just going a little bit lower and a little bit denser of a brush and just kind of precisely putting that in to start that smokiness. So I was a little bit more precise with that application. And this is a Morphe brush and I'm going into my Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. And I'm taking the shade Delectable. I don't, you, yeah, there you go, Delectable. And I am putting that right in the inner corner, just packing that color into the inner corner and then bringing it into my crease and I'm doing this very precisely. So it's inner corner and then crease. Um, and with purple shades, I get nervous that they're gonna go everywhere and that I'm gonna have a hard time with them. So I take a little bit at a time and really pack on blend, pack on blend. So just take your time with this and get it to what you want it to look like. So that's what I did here. And then I went back into that pinky shade, that fluffy brush, and not as precisely, just kind of blending out those lines on both sides. And then I did the same thing um, as I did before with this a little bit denser brush. I took that gray neutral color and just kind of intensified that crease line. And I'm sorry about the, um, my camera is having problems focusing in and out, so I don't know what's going on with that. But this, I'm taking a pointed brush and I am going into Talk Derby to me. It's kind of a purpley blue color, and I'm using this to really deepen that outer corner. I'm being very precise with this, sticking to the outer line and dragging it into the crease just slightly. Just doing that on both sides here. Yeah, I'm terribly sorry about that. Um, fuzziness. It seems to go in and out. The autofocus is having some trouble. I need to get my camera looked at. But for right now, we're just going to take that Morphe brush, dip it just ever so slightly back into that purple color called Delectable. And we're going to just buff that into the crease to kind of buff out that line that we created with the Talk Derby to Me color. Just going to do that on both sides here. And I took that a little bit too high, so I'm trying to clean that up. But I'll clean it up when I do the rest of my face makeup a little bit better. Okay, and so now for this fluffy brush, 
I, with no additional product, I'm just going to take it and just kind of run it through the brow area um, and cr that upper crease. And now I'm taking this flat shader brush into the color Bellini and I am packing that on my lid. And I'm just using that flat brush to slightly blend that into the darker purple colors. Now I'm going to get product on this flat shader brush and spritz it with some Fix Plus just to intensify that eyelid color. Still using Bellini. And I'm doing that on both sides. And just to intensify this, give it a little bit more pizzazz just so it doesn't get overshadowed by all of those purples. And then I'm going back into that purple shade Delectable and I'm just blending that out. Now see how sharp that eyelash, that eyeshadow came out because we used the tape. And I'm just going to clean up that corner. And this is the Kat Von D eyeliner. It's a sample size but I'm just going to draw out my eyeliner line, my winged liner. And I'm surprised I got this on camera. Normally I am totally out of the shop for this. but. I was very proud of my liner skills in this because they look very good. So I just take it from the outer corner, draw my line along the eyeshadow line, and then just bring it down in. And then I just take this slow, little strokes. And then I just go from about the point. Where I left off and just kind of bring it a little further into my eye line. And anything you mess up when you're doing eyeliner can be cleaned up with concealer, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And I'm just gonna do a coat of mascara on my eyelashes because I am going to use false lashes but I don't think I got a great shot of me putting them on so it's just going to go from me putting on eyeliner to me having false lashes on. I'm not the best at putting on false lashes. I'm not quite skilled. Yes, here we are. So I have false lashes on in this clip here and I'm just going to take that Kat Von D eyeliner and just clean up the line from where I would put on those false lashes and just kind of cover that band. Just cleaning that up a little bit, making it look a little bit nicer. And then just now I'm gonna start on the face. I'm gonna take this contour shade, it's the ashier shade in this Anastasia contour palette. I'm going to carve out my cheekbones here. There we go. So my curves go upward, some go more towards the ear. And I think this is the moment that I realized I forgot to put concealer on before doing this, but I went ahead and just finished slightly carving out a contour. I'm going to do a little bit more of it later. Um, but as I said, my lines go more upward to kind of create more of a cheekbone. Um, some people's just go straight out, mine go upward a little bit more. And I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Conceal by, the, by Face Studio and use that to conceal my under eyes and conceal any blemishes and highlight my face just a little bit. Sorry, I'm out of frame just a touch. We've got a new lighting set up and we're trying, I'm trying to get it figured out. Hopefully, you know, this doesn't go too poorly. So I'm taking my Morphe pointed brush to buff that out. And this is me just covering up any blemishes. And as you can see, this is a very full coverage concealer. And I've never really taken it straight from the tube onto my face before. Um, but I had product all over my hands, so I had way too much product on my face. So what I did here was I took a damp beauty blender um, just to just to just to 
buff it out. If you ever have a little bit too much of something on your face, you can always take a beauty blender and it'll kind of soak up some of the product, but also give you a nice finish. As you can see, I'm kind of cleaning up the lines under my eyeliner there. And I'm just pressing this into my skin. And then I'm rubbing a little bit just because I want to pick up some of that product. Um, you don't typically rub with a beauty blender because it'll it'll take some of the product away, but I wanted to pick some of that up, so. Oh, and I forgot to mention the, con uh, not concealer, <laughs> the foundation that I used for today was the um, Makeup Forever HD. And then I'm just setting that under eye with my translucent powder and I'm just dusting that translucent or, or that RCMA translucent powder all over my face and now I'm going back into that contour color because I probably buffed a lot of it away and I'm just sharpening up that contour. Liliana doesn't really have any bronziness to her skin so I didn't add a bronzer I just kind of contoured and sharpened up my features because obviously her face is a lot more angular than mine. I didn't do an exact replica of her angles but I did sharpen up my angles quite a bit and the brush that I'm using is an elf stippling brush to do this I'm just take it along my chin just to you know create more of a de defined chin line and then I'm just gonna take a little bit of that RC May translucent powder on my beauty blender and clean up that area under my contour now I don't bake too heavily I just kind of press it on and then wipe it a little bit um, because I have very dry skin and it would dry my skin terribly we're just gonna leave that on for a little bit put on a little bit of blush she doesn't really have anything on her cheeks so I just used the Milani rose blush and then I just dusted that um, bake if you want to call it a bake off and now going in my under eye with this Morphe pointed brush I am using the shade peach pit it's more of a burgundy bronzy shade and I'm just running that under my under lash line that's the only real shade that I'm using down here and then I'm gonna take that flat shader brush into Bellini and just do it in the inner corner do it in the inner corner <laughs> I'm just gonna place the color in the inner corner and this is the True Palettes Element Absolute New York Eye Set. And I'm just taking that frosty white color and putting that in my inner corner on each side of my eye. And then I'm going to take it on this flat shader brush and use it as my brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to carve out my brow bone, just kind of blend everything together. I love this. I was so surprised by this color. It's so pretty just like an ice queen ice color and then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush and the Mary Luminizer highlight and I'm gonna use this to highlight my face I'm gonna highlight the tops of my cheekbones it's gonna go down the bridge of my nose as well and I'm gonna take it on my cupid's bow just above my lips and on my chin. I'm just gonna use that brush to blend all of that out together because she is Liliana is very glowy in this image. So, and then I'm gonna go back into that True Palettes and I'm gonna take that icy color and I'm just gonna dot that on the very tip of my nose and on my Cupid's bow just to give it a little more of an intense highlight. And I'm gonna take it on my chin just a little bit and then also on the center of my forehead just a little bit just to kind of intensify that that glow that we have going on oh I put it on the tops of my cheeks too I forgot about that I'm sorry just to kind of give it a little bit more of a oomph because she is very very glowy now I'm taking the Kathleen Lights ColourPop Lippy and I'm just dotting that on my um, lips it's in the shade Taurus this is a very warm brown but I didn't want my lips to be too brown so I'm just dotting that on and then rubbing it out and then this is a little lip gloss I'm not entirely sure it's from the brand says star looks 
but it is a metallic like bronzy peachy color and it's just beautiful and I thought it fit the look uh, that Liliana has in this image perfectly so I just topped that ColourPop lippy with this color here. Just adds a little bit of sheeniness. And then that's the finale. So this is me taking my hair down and fluffing it around and Guys, so that completes this look. I really, really like how it came out. It's very sultry, very nighttime appropriate. I did use false lashes on I'm so that's fun. And I'm super excited to get your feedback on whether or not you like this look and whether or not you would like to see more looks like this or something different or a different character. Other than Magic the Gathering characters because they are mostly what I've been doing on this channel. But yeah, so I just... I love the way this turned out, and I hope you guys liked it too. Thanks so much for watching. Later.